Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make grilled halibut. This recipe can be made outside or inside, depending on your own grill situation. I'm gonna show you indoors because of course, that's a whole lot easier to make a video of. We're gonna start by making our sauce. You'll need two tablespoons of melted butter. So I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for a few seconds until it's melted. Once that's melted, you'll also need two tablespoons of honey, and it does pour and mix in with things a lot easier if you pop it into the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds first. It just makes things easier to pour. So we'll add that in, get a little whisk, and we'll whisk in two teaspoons of soy sauce, which will be our saltiness, half a teaspoon of black pepper, then we'll add in just a little bit of garlic, about two cloves minced, then we'll grab a juicer, and you'll need about two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Depending on the size and juiciness of your lemon, it should be about half of a lemon or maybe a whole one if it's small. Then we can go ahead and mix that in. So you have this delicious lemon garlic soy sauce for your halibut. Set your sauce to the side for a second and it's time to grab your halibut. Now, this recipe will work with any similar flaky white fish, but halibut is definitely my favorite. Now, halibut can be purchased in whole fillets or in portions like you see here, and sometimes you get differing sizes of portions. A thicker piece will, of course, require a longer cooking time, while a thinner piece will have a shorter cooking time. You'll also see that sometimes the fish is sold with the skin on. This can be easily removed before cooking or you can also leave it on. Leaving the skin on for grilling can be a really good idea because it creates a little barrier so that if it sticks to the grill grates, you won't lose any of the meaty flesh, just the skin. If yours didn't come with the skin on and you're worried about sticking, you can always place a piece of aluminum foil on top of the grill, spray it with a little nonstick cooking spray, and cook your fish on that. Baste your halibut with that delicious soy lemon garlic sauce and coat the whole thing so it kind of soaks it up. Crank up the heat to high on your outdoor gas grill or use a grill pan indoors on your stove over high heat. We're gonna start it over smoking hot high heat, and you wanna start your fish with the skin side down. We're gonna continue to baste the fish with our sauce while it cooks. Give it about two minutes for that initial sear, and then you wanna reduce the heat to medium. Now while this pan is still pretty hot, we're gonna give it a flip. And don't worry if some of your skin's stuck, that was our barrier. And you'll see that the skin actually slides off super easy if you do wanna remove it at this point. Continue to baste the fish so you get all that flavor in. The last basting should happen with at least two minutes of cooking time left to go. One reason that I love to make fish for dinner, it's not just healthy for you, it also cooks super fast. You'll really only need about four or five minutes more of cooking time on these portions. And of course, the thicker one will need just a little extra time. Of course, you can always give these a little quarter turn if you want those cross-hatch grill marks. You'll know your fish is done when it flakes easily with a fork, or if you're using a meat thermometer, you're looking for an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. You are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.